Hi everyone, it's an honor to be here to introduce my recent work, the MapLight Cooperative Education by Automatic Content Congregating. I'm Jun Kuen Peng, a master student from Tsinghua University. I will introduce our work in the following four parts, background motivation solution and experiment. So for the first part, background, the recent study shows that the high quality videos like 4K, 8K increase the internet traffic significantly. At the same time, the new human computer interactions requires no latency, just like the VRAR or live streaming. To address those two problems, the traditional methods are the stadium based catching solutions. So in this, in this way, the, there are several limited powerful loads. So all requests will be gathered in those several CDN nodes, which brings a high hit ratio. However, those nodes are far away from the users, which causes a high latency. The emerging edge-based catching solutions, there are, there are some dense, edge nodes, which are close to users. So the edge nodes are close to users, so the latency is no. However, as the edges are dense and the requests are scattered to different edges, which results a low hit ratio. At the same time, as the requests are highly dynamic, so the workload balance is unbalanced. The workload is unbalanced. To tackle those two problems, the first is the hit ratio problem, and the second is the, the workload balance problem. We propose a solution named the MacLet. First, I will introduce the framework of MacLet. We can see the, 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 the framework picture on the right of the slide. That I will introduce the, the I will introduce. So for one user, if the user wants to send a request, the first step is the user sends its request to his home edge. Here we define the home edge. The home edge is defined as the closest edge to the user. Okay, so when the user sends his request to the home edge, if his is the easiest way, right? So if if meets the important, if the important is that. If this request misses in its home edge, the home edge is obligated, the home edge is obligated to give an advice to the user to ask the user to try last. So in another word, the home edge gave the user a suggestion for the left try. So for example, if the home edge told the user, okay, you missed me here, you missed in the home edge, and then you should try in edge three. So the second step is the user sends the request to edge three. If his, uh, the, the content is returned, but if not, if locked, the edge three will fetch the content from the cloud server and then catches one copy locally in S3. And finally, the S3 sends a copy to the, to the user. Okay, this is the, this is the, 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 the uh, process of one request. The most important and hard part in this process is how to give the advice. How the home edge gave the advice to the user for the last trying edge, okay? So to solve this problem, we propose the automatic content congregating mechanism. Its abbreviation is ACC. Okay. As we do not assume each content contains uh, an original type, so we must tag, tag each content a guidance type first name. So how to do this? We just use the history trace. Then we extract the contents requested by one user because we think the contents requested by one user are similar. 
Next, like we use the item to vector technology to embedding all the contents. We make the consecutive contents have closer vectors. So we can get, we can assign each content a vector, right? We can assign each content a vector. After getting the vectors, we design a clustering algorithm named the furthest content algorithm, FCA. Then we use FCA to cluster all the contents into some types. In another word, we just gave each content a type, right? Gave each content a type. We call it the type, guidance type, GT. So for law, every content has a type, has a GT. As each content has a GT, so every edge, every edge can count catching capabilities of each GT, right? And the way, and in MagLet, we allow every GT to exchange, to exchange their catching information with their neighbors, or just sharing its own catching information with, the, with its neighbors, then the each edge can maintain a table named the edge candidate table. So this table is important and used for the advice. So we can say that with the, without ACC, without ACC edges catches many different GT content like GTA, GTD, FC. So there is a severe duplication. How to solve this is ACC. Then after, after working with ACC, we can say that each edge has a domain GT content like, like this, like this edge, domain GT content. A GT, GT, domain GT is GTA. I will give a detailed example, okay? So just for, for example, in this, in this picture, we can see that the H1 has the maximum GTA content, 80 megabytes. So it's a rounding, it's a rounding, the surrounding GTA request. Some request is request the GTA content. We call it it's, it's a GTA request, right? So the, the surrounding GTA requests are guided to the G edge one because GT one has the maximum GTA contents, right? Meanwhile, more GTA requests are gathered to edge one, this will help the edge one to catch more GTA contents in return, right? So this is very interesting, right? As edge one catching their maximum GTA contents, so, it, uh, so their edge one attracts many GTA requests. Then many GTA requests in return help the edge one to catch more GTA contents is in, is is an interesting phenomenon, and this virtuous circle between edges and the requests brings a high hit ratio. The second mechanism of MacLet is mutual assistance group. Its abbreviation is MAG. In MacLet, we check each edge's status periodically and classify them into three different types the overloaded, normal, and the I or idle data. Okay. For, for an overloaded edge, it will try to find, just like this, E1 is an overloaded edge. It try to find several idle edges and then combine into a group. This group can share their workloads. And the inside the group, it works in a master worker mode. When this group is idle, then it will be dismissed automatically to the outside, to the outside. 
this group shoots a virtual edge. This can help the robustity of the system. To evaluate the MATLAB, we use a real world data set. It includes 13 days data in Beijing area. We use the first 12 days trace as a training data and the last day as test data. So we choose a matrix is hit ratio. First is hit ratio, then what code standard division, WSD. This WSD is used to evaluate the workload balance performance and the maximum or minimum request number. It's also used to evaluate the workload balance. Okay, go on. Then we evaluate the MATLAB in three different cases, comparing with the classical catching methods like LRU or ARC, are both classical catching methods. And we also compare with the machine learning based methods like NECO or CATCHUS and some cooperative catch methods, CCSP. Okay. In the first case, we evaluate MATLAB in one whole day. We can find that the hit ratio of MATLAB, the, the, the star lines stands for MATLAB. So we can say that the MATLAB has a high hit ratio than the other or the other catching methods. And for the WSD, the MATLAB in most time has the lowest WSD, which should start the MATLAB has a good workload balance. And for the maximum request number of one edge, because there are many, there are many edges, right? So we choose the maximum request number of one edge. We can see that the map, the, 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 this metric of MATLAB is very low. And the, in the other word, uh, in, 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 in the other, in the different types, uh, in the different in the different metric minimum request number, we can see that the MATLAB has much higher request number than others. This the last three metrics all show that the MATLAB has a good workload balance performance. Okay, so go on. Uh, this one is this case is the different edge density. We choose the different edge density in the in the environment. We can say that MATLAB has good hit ratio and better balance, better workload balance for performance. The last case is the different edge catching capacity standard division. This is used to describe capacity. Abilities SD is used to describe how different the capabilities is. Okay, so we can say that in different in different values, the MATLAB has higher hit ratio and better workload balance. So this introduce about MATLAB. Uh, you are welcome to ask questions about the MATLAB. Thank you very much. Uh, so uh, if you have questions, I, I forgot to tell you in the beginning, but uh, I, I guess uh, everybody had uh, uh, intuited this. Uh, if you have questions, don't hesitate to put them in the, in the chat. Uh, so, so that I can, uh, I, can, I can ask them to the speaker. Uh, well, I have... Um, uh, but, uh, a couple of questions myself. Uh, so, if if I do understand well, uh, you uh, store uh, each part according to to their content types, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, and then uh, uh, you you separate them uh, for between different edge servers. Um, mm -hmm. do, when you say uh, you have a close uh, edge servers or, or not close, uh, what kind of distance are we, are we talking about? Okay, this is a good, good question. 
uh, actually we did some experiments in the appendix of the paper. In our experiment, we find that about seven kilometers is, seven. The, seven. is the distance. It's good. It's just a uh, experience the value. <laughs> okay, good. Thanks. And uh, well, that sounds to me like, uh, you know, uh, you have this uh, robotic warehouse uh, like Amazon, um, Amazon warehouse or, so, or you, yes. where you have these robots, they, they put things in different, in different places and then they just calculate the distance between them and the, the, the closest uh, item when they, when they need one. Yes. Uh, and there are many algorithms that have been uh, developed to, to, to optimize this process. Did you, uh, did you compare with such solutions or uh, only really uh, uh, things in the caching domain, for instance? Yeah, it's, 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 it's bearing, you know. Um, the MAPLAT is a decentralized method. So I think it's not, not so easy to compare with some, some just the solutions you mentioned, but we will wow. try to uh, make it more, more, more better, <laughs> uh, make it better. Yeah. No, but it's a interesting. Uh, okay, so and well, well, my, my question was was more about uh, the the content type thing is a very strong uh, assumption, uh, se separating by uh, uh, by different by, by other parameters. For for instance. Uh, is, is something that, that have, has been tried uh, for, for, for caching. Uh, yes. uh, why did you choose uh, to, 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 to store uh, uh, only by, uh, not, not only, but uh, really by, by the content types? Uh, actually, we do not assume their, their, their contents has a regional type. So here we, we do first is just tag each content uh, uh, a guidance type. We use uh, by the by the yes the tag we tag each content a uh, a uh, uh, type. So so the type is we defined and we give each content a type. We do not assume there is there 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 is an original type label. Okay, thanks a lot.